Yeah, you no, do agree. I you don't. just you just don't want to be wrong. No, I really don't agree. I just feel like because it's so oh vague, god, it's so vague and arbitrary. The point you're trying to make that no matter what way you play it, you could so easily argue it. That's what my point is. Yeah, but the but this is the thing though. The thing about me is that I don't care about being right right now. I just care about telling you I told you so. Yeah, but that's you, what I care but about. You're wrong, because I'm know definitely me. not wrong. I know me. I don't. Okay, do so let me ask you a question. So before you had a girlfriend, right? How would you dress? The same way. No, you wouldn't. And don't lie. I haven't seen you wear a pair of Jordans in forever. Oh yeah. Okay, you used to wear Jordans before. I know, but I wanted. How, to how you used to let your hair grow? A lot. How, okay, what else you used to wear? When, when we play ball at church, what would you do? Oh, I still wear the same fits for short church. Huh? Play ball. Okay, but why? Why would you choose these things? To play ball? I don't know. Yeah. Like, why would you wear Nike shorts and black tees to play ball? That's what I still wear most of the time. Yeah, but why? Because that's, Think, I, that's I'm asking you the questions of why. What do you mean? Because first of all, black it's is my favorite simple. color. I it's wear it's black every day. I understand. Day why color. would you wear black every day? Because that's, I think that's the best color in the world. Okay, and you don't think that subconsciously has to do with the fact that you're super white and that black stands out <laughs> no, more? Definitely. Not. Okay, I just, I just wanted to know. No, no, I'm not super white. No, you are super white. You're whiter than me. That's not super white, and I'm not whiter than you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pale though. I'm, I'm not pretty bad. Than you. Yeah, you definitely whiter. Than you. You, always definitely have, you always have this conversation. Yeah, you know, you're just okay. denial. No, no, you're in denial right now. Uh, you don't want to listen. Okay, yo, you literally are trying to like be like, nah, bro. I do this for me. I, I no, do. you don't. I do. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. Everything stemmed from somewhere. In middle school and high school, you acted differently. And for what? And then you mature, you grow. Exactly, you but adjust. but think about that though. But why do you act the way you act? No, no, but you I always gotta I, think about I those get things. What you're saying, and I'm telling you, I can relate to some things because, like, for example, you were in Jays because everybody else wearing Jays. Okay. Eventually, you get into the sneaker. Why game. not wear Skechers? No, no, I, I agree with you in that sense. And eventually, you know, you get to the sneaker game and you start picking the J's you actually like, right? Right. Because even within J's, there's ranks. And even within the, the first 23, there's ranks. Like, nobody wearing 23s. Mm -hmm. Nobody's wearing 22s. Nobody's wearing yeah. 19s, right? Uh, you wear 20s, you might wear 17s, but mm -hmm. even those correct, are correct. pushing it, right? Uh, you wear 13s, you wear 11s, you wear 10s, you wear 9s. 1 to 13. Yeah, 1 to 13 was safe. Yeah. Maybe even 14. But 14s were fire. So yeah, that's the same. But, uh, my point is, even within that, there was a rank. And so as you got deeper into it, you understood, like, oh, now. And I get what you're saying, because at first you probably did it for the hype, because mm -hmm. the girls like the guy with the J's. But eventually, even now that you buy shoes, you're not buying shoes because you want to press a girl. No, but it all started from that one person that you saw that influenced you. No, no, right? I agree. But that's and what, it but you stems. Said, you said everything was from a girl. I agree that yes. it's influence. Not everything is Bro, from a girl. Bro, that's where, the thing is this, though. The thing you is that. trickle that. My influence no, no. was by somebody else. Yes, was because, was, was, uh, okay, nah. we, we dismiss why we do things is a problem. And we don't ask questions as to why we I do agree, things I agree. enough. You don't question it. Right. Don't question so, it. because you saw somebody, right, that, that influenced you. That was your version of cool. Now you want to be like that guy, right? That guy is attracting girls, whatever it may be. Whether it's because, oh, yeah, I want to be like that guy because he's getting girls. Or I want to be like that guy because that guy is a version of cool. That's still a very big influential thing. And just because you don't immediately think about, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy this car to impress girls. No, you're buying a car because you actually like the car. Yeah. And if it impresses girls, then great. Exactly. You know what I mean? You're buying a house because yeah, you can, truly like that. the house. Yeah, but it impresses that. girls, great. Yeah, that's a bonus. I understand that. Like, that, that part's, like, engraved right here. I understand. We're not making decisions. But that's what I'm saying. Subconsciously, we are making those decisions based on what other people are going to view us as. And those other people, to men, most importantly, matters when it comes from girls. That's that. That's usually the stem of everything. You probably don't realize it because you're not thinking about it. But if you actually just sit down and think about some of the things that you do, and you ask yourself why, you look, look, okay, look at the answer you gave me now. You said, "Oh, I dress for me." That's the dumbest answer in the world because that's what everybody. Ask a teenage girl right now, why do you wear hoodies every day to school? Oh, because it's, I do it for me. No, because you're fat. You're probably trying to hide your wow, weight. So you're calling me fat? Bro, I'm not calling I, you fat. I skipped the gym one month. I'm, I'm, I skipped the gym listen, one month. I'm having arguments with you that I've had with, like, for example, I've had arguments with little kids, right, who at the time so were, like, 13, 14 years. No, I'm just telling them, I'm like, yo, why y'all wearing hoodies? Oh, I just like it, bro, but it's, like, 80 degrees outside. Why are you wearing hoodies for? Oh, but this is just me. This is what I like to do, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Kind of find out years later when we're having another conversation. It's like, oh, well, you know what? I'm not, I was a little insecure about my weight, so, you know, I just wore a hoodie or cover. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. At the time, you probably didn't realize you didn't mature to no, the point. I, I understand what you're saying, and I do agree that most people don't question their whys, right? Like with different things. Uh, but as far as me, my, when it comes to clothes, there's three things. It's comfort, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's uh, the idea that I should be able to grab anything out of my closet and it should match, right? So I want to be able everything to be pieces. 
And the third thing is that I want simplicity. You have it. You will clearly know. Of course. And so that's how I dress. Right now, let me ask you something though. How you dress, right? So I I put somebody like me, right? So I I pay attention to details, especially if somebody dresses, right? So how you dress is to a fit, to a T. Maybe you don't realize it's to a T, but not too many people could just wear a pair of pants and do one cuff and it's good. You do know that, right? No, I already do that. No, no. I have jeans that if I don't tailor, I could never do that. I'm way too short for that. But you just have pants that you can just do it, boop, and that's it. Because that, yeah, because that's the style you go for, though. Exactly. That's the style that you feel good in. No, that's the style, that's style, style that makes you look good. Work, no, no. Look, we had this conversation here before. I said, look, I I like all the fear God stuff. I like the meaning behind fear God, so I'm gonna wear it. I personally don't think that aesthetically it looks the best on me. I know what aesthetically looks better on me. A, a good f- a pair of jeans, a flannel, some boots, whatever. That's a a good go to that you, I'm always gonna look good in. That I feel like I'm always gonna look good in. You have your oh, this is what I I'm, I'm gonna look in. This is what I'm gonna feel good in. Yada yada yada, right? That's that's your home maneuver. But at the end of the day, it is for you to look good, though. You say yourself, oh, I'm fresh all the time. But fresh for who? For me. For yeah, life. cool. But you still go out when you're at home. How you dress? You got no shoes on. I got no shirt. You got on. no shirt on. Exactly. You got. You probably got some whatever shirts on that you might not even wear outside. Who knows? You get me? Like yeah, I, I, I don't know how you dress. Like, I don't know. Like, Sometimes I walk around my house in boxers. Okay. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like. It, it, I have a black tee and shorts on. Right, and that's what I'm saying though. Like, you still wear what you want to wear. You like it, cool. I'm just letting you know that a lot of the shit that you do, that you pick, is gonna look good though. But why? Because I'm trying to impress a girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm asking. You. Do you think that the stuff that you pick that looks good, that looks clean, that looks simplistic? Do you think that that just happened? Like it just like like. Nobody ever done that before. Like you're the first person, and it just like clicked no. in your head. And, and I'm telling you, everything is influenced. I know that. So where'd you get that from? But let's go with that. Where'd I'm you get the simplistic part from? Exactly, and that's what I mean by it gets lost in translation because you don't know if some guy you saw would look super minimalistic, super confident, and you're like, "Yo, this guy's a stud." There's some guy that you'll call a stud, but like, oh, this guy's a stud, and you're like, "Oh, I like that look," and I could go ahead and get that look, and he influenced you to do everything that you do today. But it gets lost in translation. Again, guys do everything for girls. It's not, and it's not that black and white. I get it. It's not that, it's not like, oh, but I'm going to put on this sweatshirt because it's going to make the girls want me. No, no, it's not that black and white. But we all know that we do shit for the opposite. Just, just like the argument of girls going to the club. Why are you going to the club if you're not single? Like, if you have a boyfriend, why do you go to the club for? For what? And we I had the know, whole yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not trying to impress yeah, guys. Trying to you fun. put on a lie, cake lie, of makeup lie, lie. and you put on a fly fit and you want to take Instagram pics, dance and smoking hookah and shit. Like, what are you? Th- you sure you're having fun? I'm sure that while you're getting dressed, you're like, oh, yes, I'm going to get all the niggas there. I'm sure you're not thinking about that. But you know, in the back of your head, though, if a bunch of guys go to your group of girls and you don't get talked to, you're going to feel some type yeah. of way. You get me? And again, you can understand that more, though, because it's not at you you get me it's to girls you can kind of see that so the question is can you see within yourself dig deep and be like you know what maybe george is right maybe some of the shit that i've done has been for girls